All right, so in this video, we're going to go over keyword research. And so the first thing that I want to talk about here is the SCAGs. And what this is here is single keyword ad groups. So for example, we're going to have a keyword ad group for crawl space cleaning. And then we're going to have an additional ad group for crawl space insulation. And then we'll have another keyword ad group for, let's say, attic cleaning. So let me go ahead and walk you through here how we're going to go about creating our keyword. And one of the quickest ways to get our top level keywords is literally going to our competition, going to contractors that already have the services laid out on their website. So for example, we talked about having a particular keyword ad group for the crawl space cleaning and then also for the crawl space insulation. Uh, and then we're going to have another ad group here for the attic cleaning and then the attic installation. So let's go ahead and just add these in here at the very top. We don't even need to do the keyword research for the top level. We will for the additional keyword. So let's go ahead and just add these in here. We know that we have crawl space cleaning. And then we have crawl space insulation. And then let's go back. And then we have the attic cleaning. Then the attic insulation. And we'll be able to find the keyword uh, search volume in CPC here in a second. So let's go back. Okay. And then attic cleaning and insulation, uh, air and duct sealing. Uh, we don't even need to add those in there, but let's just go ahead and just stick with these four here. And now let's go and let's take this keyword here and let's go to Google. Let's go to discover keywords. So this is the keyword planner here. Let's put that in there. And let's break this down to our location. So we're going after Seattle. Let's just go to Seattle there. Let's go to save. Okay, great. So we have crawl space cleaning. This is the volume here. And this is what I like to do when I'm doing keyword research here. Uh, put that in there, 1900. And then the cost per click is 24. So every time somebody is searching for this keyword here and they actually click on it, uh, they're going to get charged $24 essentially, $24.55 as far as for whoever's at the top, right? And then the average monthly search volume is 1900. And so basically what we're going to have is this particular keyword ad group here is going to have all of these additional keywords under this ad group here, right? This is the top level. So crawl space cleaning. And then within that, there's going to be crawl space cleaning near me, crawl space cleaning cost, um, crawl space cleaning companies near me, crawl space cleanup, crawl space clean outs, right? Because everything is related and relevant to the crawl space being cleaned, right? People are maybe looking for uh, pricing. They're looking for a vendor near them. They're looking for the best contractor, right? And so we would find all of the words that have to do with people looking for crawl space cleaning. So then we have crawl space cleaning service, right? We would include that crawl space cleanup cost, right? So our main keyword up here is going to be crawl space cleaning, and then we'll have a bunch of other keywords under this. So crawl space insulation, let me show you an example of this one here as well. Let's go to get results. And so as you'll see, obviously this one here is at the very top and it's going to be our main top level keyword. Highest volume here, let's go ahead and just copy this here. Oops. Move that there. And then let's find our cost per click. So this one's actually less as far as the cost per click than the actual cleaning. And so within this keyword ad group here, we're looking for additional keywords to have under this particular ad group. So we would have the insulation cost, this one here where it's best insulation for crawl space, this may not be a good fit here because it doesn't let us know that there is any type of search intent 
for what we're offering. This person is looking for the best type of insulation. They're not necessarily looking for insulation services. So they may be not as far along in the buying process, right? They may be looking for the best type of insulation. Now, people that are looking for crawl space insulation services are already in the buying stage of the buyer's journey, right? They've most likely done their research and now they're looking for a service provider. So then down here, crawl space floor insulation, insulation for crawl space under house. And so for people that are typing in crawl space insulation and then like Home Depot or Lowe's, you want to stay away from those keywords there because those are do it yourself type of folks where they're looking to do things on their own essentially. Spray foam, crawl space. This person's obviously just looking for the spray foam. They're not necessarily looking for a uh, vendor there. Insulation, installing insulation and crawl space. This person may be another do it yourselfer. Crawl space, insulation, contractor. I believe this one right here. So this would be a great one here as well. So the first thing that we want to do when we're doing keyword research, like I laid out here, is we want to get the top level keywords. What are people going to be searching um, when they're looking for the service, right? Let's say another example could be for security services. There's a bunch of top level keywords that have to do with security. So if somebody's looking for physical security, or if somebody's looking for home security, right? Or alarm systems, those are top level keywords. And then with those top level keywords, we can get more granular and get more specific. In this particular example, we went over here and we went to the actual contractor's website and we took some of these top level keywords. However, what you can do if you don't want to do that and if you just want to type in the crawl space and see what comes up after that, you can do that as well. And we'll go ahead and type that in here. Let's go to get results. And so this would give us our top level keywords, right? For us to be able to work with. Crawl space insulation, we're obviously using that as a single keyword ad group. Crawl space cleaning, another single keyword ad group. Crawl space vapor barrier, not even sure what this is here. Let's pull this up. Okay, so that is a particular item here. Okay, so yeah, that may be another uh, keyword ad group that we can target. Crawl space encapsulation another keyword ad group here okay so go down here crawl space the humidifier this looks more like a product here crawl space foundation uh, this may be a good keyword ad group here as well because people may be typing in crawl space foundation cleaning right and we can include that as well water and crawl space and this could be another keyword ad group here as well because people can be searching for water and crawl space cleaning. Uh, here is crawl space repair. This can be another keyword ad group, a vapor barrier installation. Uh, this could be another one here. So this is what we would want to go through here as far as uh, getting our top level keyword. So let's, let's go down here. Let's even add this right here. Okay crawl space vapor barrier add it here and what is our volume not 900 okay great so what is the cost per click 639 whoops why isn't that grabbing there let's go back jeez 639 okay and then we would have the crawl space encapsulation, this one as well. So you get the idea, right? We're looking for uh, the top level keywords uh, that we can use for our keyword ad groups, okay? So that we can have a bunch of keywords under these, right? Under these ad groups. We can get the specific keywords, the broad match keywords, all that great stuff there. So let's go right here and let's type in crawl space vapor barrier. Let's see what other additional uh, keywords will come up on this one. So we have the crawl space vapor barrier and then now we're going to find all of the keywords that are going to be under that particular ad group. So vapor 
barrier installation, crawl space vapor barrier cost. This may be a good one here because they may be just looking for pricing from a vendor. Let's see here. Obviously this one here is for somebody looking to do it themselves. Crawl space vapor barrier installers. These guys look to be looking for a contractor. Cost to install vapor barrier and crawl space. Uh, they may be another good one there. Let's see here. So these guys are looking for best crawl space vapor barrier. They're looking more for the product there. Okay, clean space vapor barrier. This may be another one here as well that we can target. So hopefully you're getting the idea here of what we're looking to do. We're looking to have our top main keywords into one particular keyword ad group and having the more specific keywords under those. Going back over here, we're most likely going to have crawl space encapsulation near me, crawl space vapor barrier installation near me, right? Attic installation near me, uh, attic installation cost, attic installation contractors, attic installation services, uh, all of those different uh, variations. However, the most important part is to first do our top level keywords. And so we can use a variation of Google Keyword Planner here, and then also going to the websites as far as for the services that already have uh, their particular services. So for example, let's say if we went over here and we just typed in crawl space and then we just type that in there and then we would be able to see which companies are actually set up here and then we can actually look at their services. So they have insulation removal, attic insulation, subfloor insulation. So let's even go back. Let's go crawl space cleaning so we can find under that. Let's look at this contractor here. Oops, this is the same guy here. Let's go down here. Okay. Commercial. Okay, so they don't really have a good overview of the services. So if you can't find the overview of the services on uh, the website for the contractors, then the best bet is to go into Keyword Planner here. One of the other keyword tools that um, works great as well is going to the uh, Uber Suggest here from Neil Patel. So let's go to Crawl Space Cleaning. Let's go to Search. Okay, great. And if you want to see a bunch of more keywords, you got to sign in there with your Gmail. But this should be just fine here, what we're looking for. So you can see here, um, we have the top level main keyword as we have in our list over here, crawl space cleaning. And then all of these would be just under in this particular keyword ad group, right? Crawl space cleaning near me, crawl space cleaning cost. And this does a great job of breaking down the keywords that would all be interrelated. You go over here and you'll notice there's a bunch of different searches here, right? Home Depot, um, all these different searches here, Lowe's, and they're not necessarily the most relevant. Um, however, over here with Uber Suggest, they are showing us the most related relevant searches. Crawl space cleaning near me, crawl space cleaning cost, company services. And so these would be the perfect keywords that we can use in our crawl space cleaning ad group, right? You're going to get access to this doc here and you're going to be able to come in here and do your top level research as far as for your keywords. And then also we have the negative keywords here that uh, we haven't added, but we can go ahead and add these after we set up the campaign. These are keywords that we don't wanna be showing up for. So for example, we don't wanna be showing up for people that are searching for Lowe's, um, for Home Depot, uh, for things that are indicating do-it-yourself type of keyword searches, right? Where people are more in the discovery phase, they're not really necessarily ready to make a purchase or ready to actually you know, do the actual service because a lot of times what you'll find is people are at different stages 
of the buying process, right? Some may be just at the very beginning, just researching. Some may be just looking to do it themselves. And then those that are actually uh, looking to do it right away, right? Get it done very quickly and actually looking for a vendor. Those are the ones that we want to keep. And we want to have the negative keywords reflect those that are not necessarily at the stage of buying. Let's go ahead and do one more search here. Let's go to Attic Cleaning. And let's go ahead and exit this one. Get results. Attic Cleaning and Installation. Attic Cleanup. Attic Cleaning, obviously, here. And then have one be Attic Installation. Two separate ad groups here, like we have right here. And this one isn't actually showing the volume and the cost per click for the uh, cleaning and installation. So let's go back and let's type in attic cleaning here. Okay, attic cleaning. Here we can see this volume right here. Okay, great. 1900. And what's the cost per click? 17. Okay, great. And so then under this particular keyword ad group, we're going to have added cleaning services, added cleaning cost, added cleaning near me, added cleaning services near me, added cleaning services cost, and then added cleaning companies and everything else that's related to that. So now let's type in here attic installation for the other keyword ad group. So we would have the attic installation cost. Uh, let's see here. Attic insulation, installation, uh, attic insulation, installation company, uh, attic insulation uh, services near me, contractor near me, right? All of those related keywords. So hopefully you're able to get an idea, a big picture here, overview of what we're looking to do with our keyword research. We want to start at the very top. We want to get those top level main keywords and have all of these be single keyword ad groups right and then have all of the keywords that are related to each uh, particular search term here so that's going to be here for the keyword research and we'll see you on the next one